Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to tell you about rectally palpating Dolly, our cow, to find out if she's pregnant, why we like ducks so much, and how we grew a garden with very little work. It's our miracle garden. So, start off with ducks because I have this little chick up here, or this little duck. And this duck is eager to get back to its mom, and I'm going to let it go back to its mom. Um, this duck is just a couple weeks old and is really vigorous and into life, finding its food, running all over the place, and we just really have come to uh, admire ducks even on a higher level than we did before. I'm going to let it run now back up to its mom. You know, we had ducks and chicks um, within just a few days of each other hatched out by their moms. And we're so impressed by the ducks and their um, just tenacious approach to life. They go places the chicks never go. The chicks stay with their moms and hang out right around the chick shaw. The ducklings go everywhere, though. They go through the fence, outside the fence. They go through the whole garden, through the pasture. They follow their ducks, their um, mother duck, everywhere. They're just very strong. They're much bigger than the chicks. They chase flies. They'll eat sunflowers off of a sunflower head. They're just tough animals. And I really, really am coming to like ducks more and more, especially as I see them raised in the natural setting with their mother and see them really trained. Um, to be just great forgers from a very young age. The next thing I want to talk about is our garden here. We were looking at the garden yesterday evening with some friends and they said your garden is really beautiful. And yeah, we think it's beautiful. But we were thinking about it and we said, you know, we didn't really put that much work into our garden. We really just planted stuff. Now, we have done some kind of foundational work. We had um, Tom volunteered to come out and he plowed and rototilled the whole thing. And that was a huge amount of work that we didn't have to do by hand or with a rototiller. But other than that, and other than mulching and applying some compost, I would say we've done very little work. We pretty much just planted seeds out here. And this garden has exploded. I attribute a lot of this lack of work with so far a good payoff to the fact that we mulched it all heavily with hay. And while that was, you know, like a half day of work really total, it's taken uh, so much work in weeding out of the gardening um, work. So we have mulched and we have weeded minimally since we have mulched. And there's, a, there's some grass under the tomatoes and there's some grass under the corn, but Overall, the grass is effectively suppressed by the mulch. The mulch is also enriching the soil underneath it. It's holding in moisture. It's doing its job, and we're extremely pleased with our garden, um, especially in respect to how much work we've put in, into it and what looks like uh, the harvest we've gotten so far and what looks like is about to be an amazing harvest of tomatoes and corn, though we won't count our veggies before they ripen. So the last thing we're going to talk about today is yesterday we had uh, an experienced cattleman come out and palpate Dolly for us. I've got this giant arm glove here. This is actually what we used. I know it's gross. It's going in the trash. And Dolly was extremely tolerant of this procedure. I was actually shocked. When I remember back to when we had the vet out and he took fecal samples from our goats and where you take two fingers, gloves of course, and reach up the goat's butt and pull the stool out so you know which, which um, feces is from which goat so you can check them for uh, parasite loads. The goats screamed and fought. They acted like they were dying. But Dolly pretty much just stood there. We just had her tied um, and she was eating some food and she stood there and let us reach our whole arm up her rectum. So the results of this um, in our friend's view is that he, he does not think she's pregnant. 
and this has kind of been a little bit of a roller coaster for us and and it's actually still a roller coaster unfortunately because rectal palpitation is not a hundred percent accurate it's still possible that she is pregnant and so um we're still on the roller coaster just a little bit but we want to ride this out this is real life this is real homestead life so um we feel like the next step is probably to do 